Uh, by the way, don't, I don't know if I'll be doing these bulletins every Sunday. They're kind of old-fashioned anyways, but uh, uh, if you have them, you can open it up. And there's a verse that we're going to minister out of today, one of them. It says, uh, keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Proverbs 4, 23. Listen, every issue you have in life comes out of your heart. What you put in your heart matters. Some of you need a new heart. Some of you need a renewed heart. Some of you just need to change what you're feeding your heart. Amen. Some of you need to look to the, the road map so you can change your heart, so you can fix some of those issues in life. But there's not an issue in your life that doesn't come up with that Jesus is not the answer. There's not one. And I want to bring that to you today. And there's another verse I want to give. I'm, I'm going to be, look, it's only 1130. I've got plenty of time. Why am I rushing? <laughs> John 19. John chapter 19, verse 30. John chapter 19, verse 30. I'm going to give him a moment to get it up there because I've got so much time today. <laughs> John chapter 19, verse 30. There it is. And if this was uh, in your old-fashioned King James Bible, this would be red letters. Well, it should be because part of it, because it's what Jesus said. And uh, and when Jesus therefore had received the vinegar, he said, it is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. When he was said he was finished, he was not just talking about his life upon the earth at that time. It was meaning everything that you ever had need of was finished at the cross. He went down to hell and he whipped Satan. The Bible says he made a show of him openly. Triumphing over all darkness. Not some, not part of it, not just that thing that was for everybody else. He triumphed over all darkness so that nothing could have dominion over you. Nothing could have control over you. Nothing could torment you. And nothing could stand in your way. He made a show of him openly. I like to think of it. He did it WWE style. He made a show of it. Everybody come over here. I'm only going to do this once. So y'all come watch the show as I put the smack down on all darkness. Come on. And as you, and then he did. And everybody's like, uh, we know who the king is. It's when he shows up, that's why the name of Jesus, the demons tremble like, we don't need another beating. We'll just leave now. Come on, are you hearing me this morning? Yes. That's the good news. The good news is that Jesus is alive and it is finished. And every issue of life that, flo that, that that comes at you, he has the answer in it. He can make new things. Well, my life is so broken. My body's so broken. My, 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 everything's just broken physically, spiritually, emotionally, maybe even financially. Nobody wants to talk about that, right? But God can make all things new when you line up with the Word of God. That's what His Word says, right? That's the good news. Man, Easter is the easiest day in the world to preach on for a preacher. All you got to do is tell them the good news. What's the good news? Jesus is alive. He's finished. He's made you new. And every issue of life has an answer according to the Word of God. Well, Pastor, you don't know what I'm going through. You know what? You are absolutely right. I am not you. And even if I've had the same experience, doesn't mean I've had the same experience as you. But I do know the man that has the answer. And I do know the man that cannot lie. Who said, I'm making all things new. Well, Pastor, I, you know, blah, 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 blah. Five million excuses, the answer's the same. Sorry, I hate to break it to you. That's just who I am as a pastor. I don't really like to do the whole mealy mouse thing. I find it's just better to cut to the chase. Today, if you're here, you say, you know, if you would, you, you know, the first person you have to be honest with, no matter if you're four years old or you're 104, the first person you have to be honest with is yourself. Amen. 
Do you know as long as you allow the enemy put a justification or a doubt in your mind? Well, I'm this way because of this. I'm that way. How about you quit just quit looking for an excuse or a justification yes. Yes. and you just let God make you new? Yes. If you're new, you don't have to worry about it because guess what? All those things are what? Dead. Well, this has happened while I was asleep. Well, I'm dealing with sickness. Well, you know, the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. I hate to break it to you. This is, you know, salvation is not a get out of jail free card in that sense that the enemy stops tormenting you. But the other part of that verse is I've come, you may have life and have it more abundantly. That means new life, Zoe kind of life, that kind of life that brings joy. Nobody wants to talk about that. When you know who your God is, you know, hope deferred makes the heart sick. That's why the enemy comes to fatigue the saints, wear them out. But it says when it hope has come to fruition, it's a tree of life. Amen. Come on. You, some of you need your hope uh, filled up this morning. Some of you need to go dip in the river. And when you do that, you start realizing, if God be for me, who can be against me? I'm a new creature in Christ. Old thing, I always smile when I say that. I'm a new creature in Christ. Amen. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. The good news is he's still making things new today. He's still reviving things today. Amen. If you'll let him. It's free will. How many know he gave you free will? Yes. Amen. You can hear my message today. And you know what happens with human nature. I'm just going to go ahead and meddle a little bit since I have so much time. <laughs> is everybody thinks of somebody else that needs to hear this message instead of them? Boy, I wish so-and-so was here. They could really use this message. I hate to break it to you, but if God's got you here this morning, there was something you needed to hear in this Amen. message. Amen. Something that only you needed. So maybe you got some sickness. Guess what? God's still making all things new. If he made your body, you don't think he can repair it? You know, they spoke into dry bones and they came back to life. You think anything's too hard for God? Well, I've been standing in faith. Keep standing. Well, I've got some weaknesses, Pastor. In your weakness, his strength is made perfect. His grace is sufficient. Come on. You know what? Have you resisted under blood? Jesus resisted under blood. And he still finished the cross with me and you on his mind. But I'm so thankful he didn't stay there. He went down to hell. He whipped Satan. And he rose again on the third day. Come on, right here. So that we could be free. And he made all things new. If that's uh, I'm not going to tell you that. I, I promised everybody a short message, and a short message is what I'm going to give you. If you're here today, and you would be honest with yourself, and you would know that if Jesus returned today, you would not make heaven. Or you would be honest with yourself and say, you know what, I'm an empty shell inside, Pastor, and I need the living God living inside me. And you want to get right with God, listen, I, I'll leave you in a simple prayer. You say the words, but you have to mean them in your heart. But I can promise you, if you meet them in your heart, that God made heaven and earth and meet you right here in this sanctuary right now. Matter of fact, I'll just go ahead and throw another one. If you know that you're back sleeping in a place that you know you need renewed in your life, then I want you to raise your hand. What better day to rededicate your life to God or give your life for the very first time than Easter Sunday because you'll never forget the day you did it. Easter Sunday, 2024, I changed my life. I made a commitment to live all in for Jesus. Doesn't matter your age. That's you today. I want you to just raise your hand. Be bold. First, I see that hand. Come on, some of the rest of you be bold. I see that hand in the back. Anybody else today? So to be bold. Lord, I'll just tarry a moment. I ain't going to twist your arm. If i got to talk you into it, then I'll have to talk you into staying, and it's got to be your decision. <coughs> Anybody here need to get rededicated? You feel sleazier than a slime ball, and you need to get washed clean. So just be real.
any of you kids today, the sound of my voice, you, you just feel lonely and broken and like no one's there for you today. But Jesus says he's, still, he's a friend that stays closer than a brother. If that's you today, raise your hand and we'll pray. I see that hand. I see that hand. I see that hand. I see that hand. Praise God. See those hands. Amen. Amen. Glory. Well, then what we're going to do is I'm going to talk real plain and real slow. I'm country, so it still may be hard to understand. I know. But they tell me I'm losing my accent since I've been up here. But you just repeat after me. And you believe it in your heart. And you will be made new today. And there will be angels in heaven rejoicing. And this pastor will be rejoicing. Repeat after me. Dear Heavenly Father. I believe you died on the cross. With me on your mind. I believe you went down to heaven. And whipped Satan. And rose again on the third day. So that I could be free. And I make you Lord of my life. And I ask you to wash me clean. And I come out of a dream. <laughs> with anything that's not from God. It's not God. And, I and I ask the Holy Spirit to clean house. Yes. Lord, now I thank you, God, for those that just given their life to you and rededicated. And Lord, as Pastor, I stand in the gap right now. He pulled it a little more seat. Lord, right now, anything that they, they come out of agreement, everything's not from God. So every demonic stronghold we know is dead right now in Christ, according to your word. And we command those things to break. They can't tell their assignment to someone else. They must go back to the pits of hell. And every stronghold is broken right now. And God, I thank you that they're walking out of here free. God, and right now, I thank you that well, there's the peace of God that passes all understanding. Just, just descending upon them right now. Lord, even these, these children, you said, suffer not the children to come unto me. And Lord, I thank you for the peace and joy that's going with them. And Lord, even some of them are going back into places that uh, it would, would make adults cry. And Lord, I thank you that you're going with them. You're preparing a place before them in, in the presence of their enemies, God. And Lord, I thank you that you're setting your angels charge right about each one of these. And God, you're going to keep them safe. And Lord, I pray as a church, God, that you will help us to disciple the young, the old, and the in-between to give them the tools they need to succeed in the Lord's army from this day forward. In Jesus' strong name we pray. Amen. Amen.